a good day to be in the mountains. Let's go take a dip. Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're on a camping trip and it's a little bit different. We're not doing any off-roading. We're not doing any overlanding. We're just at a campground. And this is a pretty special place to me. Uh, it's somewhere that I've been coming since I was six months old. My parents have been taking me here my whole life. And uh, as an adult, I kind of restarted that tradition. Um, and now with a wife and kids, this has been a real special place for us to come back to uh, kind of again and again. And so this trip, this video is gonna look a little bit different. It's gonna be way more kickback. In fact, we've actually already been here for two days and I haven't really done any filming yet because I just wanted to enjoy that time with my family and relax and just enjoy being here. Um, I like this place better than some of the more remote destinations that we get to, like you'll see in some of our other videos. Uh, this is really my happy spot. So, you know, I guess what you can kind of expect for this video is I'm not too uh, sure yet. I've got some new gear that I'm testing out, so I'll be sure to share uh, some of that stuff with you guys and share some of the views of this beautiful spot. Now, I'll tell you it's in the Eastern Sierras, it's near Mammoth Lakes, and that's all I'm gonna say because this is not one of those places that I wanna kinda like just ruin with geotagging and stuff like that. And so if you are able to find out where this is on your own, then great. If you come here, take good care of it. This place is a really special place and the people that do end up coming here tend to come back year after year after year. And uh, you know, it's a good family spot, uh, real beautiful, great place to chill. With that being said, let's go take a dip. you guys are on our campsite and I'll actually start over here so I've kind of mentioned a couple times that we do have a little pressure shower system thing and this is the privacy shelter that I actually will take over landing if my wife comes along um, just so she has that privacy um, I think I've mentioned this before she's not quite into this stuff the way I am and so some of those things you just want to make sure that you're going above and beyond and that's what I'm doing with this. And so on a trip like this, I actually love having this thing because shamelessly, I really don't mind taking a shower when I'm out here. Um, sometimes you can jump in the creek, the lake, whatever, if you're gonna be out for quite a while on a camping trip. But me, having the ability to take a nice, comfortable shower is uh, not a problem to me. So uh, that's pretty cool. Over here, we just got our little fire set up. I was able to collect quite a bit of firewood from some fallen trees up there. And I actually did get something new that I am trying out. Home Depot had a pretty good Father's Day sale. I got this um, Ryobi saw. And what's cool about this thing is it actually runs off of the 18 volt uh, lithium battery set. So if you already have Ryobi products, this thing will, I think it was like maybe a $70 value. I got it for free because I got a two pack of batteries and it was just uh, the deal that they had. Now, the saw's not something that you would like wanna rely on to replace like a chainsaw or something like that. But just to cut like some smaller branches, like I'll show you guys over here, it really gets the job done really quick. Uh, and the battery isn't super great. I used it for all of our firewood, uh, all the firewood cutting that I did yesterday. And it didn't last, I mean, it still lasted. It's like three quarters of the way um, depleted right now. And so that's not too bad considering that I can just throw it back on the charger and I don't have to worry about fuel or anything like that. But it's definitely not something that you would want to rely on, you know, removing trees out of a down trail. I mean, it's got his itty little blade, but stuff like this, so like this size, 
Um, it was super quick, goes right through it. But some of these bigger logs, like something like this, it'll do it, but you kind of have to like do that circular motion going around it. And so obviously it doesn't replace a chainsaw. A chainsaw is uh, much better, but if you want something that's just efficient and quick for, you know, cutting down some good firewood, I think it works out really great. All right, this is something new that we're trying out specifically. This is a table, I forget what it's made by. Nice C. And this was an Amazon order. The reason why we wanted to try out something small like this is because one, the, for the front runner chairs don't have tables to them. And so sometimes it's nice to have a place to set your uh, drink if it doesn't fit in the cup holder or your food. But specifically for us, um, our two and a half year old likes to wander around with her food. And so we discovered it's been easier for to get her to eat her food without dropping it all over the ground in one place by just having a table that she can set her food on, take bites, come back to it. And so that's why we did that. Um, cool little table so far. If you guys have front runner chairs or little ones, might be a good option for you as well. Now you probably did hear me talking a little quiet. That's because the whole family's taking little naps right now in our tent. And that's why I got the easy up over the tent. It, we are going through a heat wave. And so it's not that bad up here. We're about 7,600 feet, I think. And so uh, happy not to be at sea, sea level today, but uh, that's what's going on over there. Got a little uh, baby play set up for Henry, our seven month old. Uh, just kind of keep him uh, out of the dirt and the rocks and stuff like that. And then obviously I got my kitchen set up. This is nothing new to you guys, but uh, all set up to work out of the deck system. You guys have seen this before. And then we just got some bags in here with the wind doors open, easy access, trash, laundry, you know the deal. And so that's our campsite. Uh, while everybody's taking a nap, I'm just gonna enjoy this time, kicking it. Might go collect some more firewood for the fire tonight, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thinking about heading down to the lake a little bit later. So maybe we'll see you then. And then today's brew is Alpine Beer Company, Hoppy Birthday um, IPA. And so I, I'm a big fan of IPAs. Um, I really like this one, it's not bad. But I mean, <laughs> it's an IPA, what can you expect? Um, keeping it cool in a little Yeti tumbler thing. This thing works great. I've been sipping on the same beer for about an hour and a half and it's still nice and cold. So I'll just be kicking it. So before I head over to the lake tonight to get a little fishing in and just try to catch an evening down there, I want to make sure I've got enough firewood, which I think I'm good like on logs and stuff, but I need some kindling. So got my little handy dandy trash roo and we're going to head up this little hill behind us because there's this really big down tree and lots of little branches and stuff and kindling that I can load up into that trash roo for some kindling tonight. Just some good fire starter sticks. So let me grab that real quick. So if there's not a fire regulation that prohibits picking up uh, wood that from down trees um, to use for a fire, I always like to do that just because all this wood, as you guys can see here, this is all just potential fuel if a fire we're going to rip through here. Now, is my little bag of kindling going to make a huge difference? No, not really. I mean, we did, our logs that are down there are from up here as well. But, you know, if everybody all season long did it, then maybe it would make a difference. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Obviously, California's got some major wildfire problems and everybody's got their theory of why that is. Um, I have a feeling that when you prevent people from cleaning up down trees and then you also prevent the natural occurrence of wildfires, the situation gets worse. That's my opinion on it. What do you guys think? But this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick up some firewood. All right, so I got a pretty full bag. 
I think that will do it for us for tonight. If I need more, it's like only, I don't know, 100 yards away. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick demonstration on how this saw works for some of these smaller branches. For the bigger ones, I'm not gonna show you just cause I don't think it's quite made for that, but um, we'll do the smaller ones just to kinda see how well that works for those. I think it does work pretty well for these guys. So obviously that's a pretty small branch there, but that's about the size that I like them. And so, I don't know. If you think that something like that would uh, be a good fit for you, I'll probably link it in the description so you guys can check that out. Yeah. So we're walking to the lake. It's about a, I don't know, maybe a quarter mile walk from the campsite basically to where the lake is. We're gonna throw our poles in the water, see if we might be able to catch a little something. Can we catch a fish? Maybe? Yeah. Yeah? I want it. Okay. When we get there. This is the stuff that I like the most. Peaceful, walk through the woods, plenty to look at, excellent company, ah. Does this look like a good spot to you? You should stay here. Start your fishing. <laughs> All right. We'll get the pole ready. I've said it before, but I'm not an expert fisherman. This is what I'm using. So I've actually had quite a bit of luck at this lake with just uh, stuff like this. The Zeke's uh, soil bed is great or power bait. Um, I know there's, there's a lot of better ways to do fishing, but I'm a simple man and this is how I do it. Fish are jumping, but they're not biting what we got, which isn't a surprise, because uh, like I've said before, I'm no expert fisherman. But sometimes I do get lucky, so we'll see. We don't know how long we're gonna stay here because little man is really on the struggle bus and needs some sleep, so we're probably gonna head back to camp pretty soon and attempt that again. This is a really special place to me. It's the first place that I camped, and it's where my dad taught me how to fish. I couldn't think of a better way to spend Father's Day than bringing my two kids and my wife back here to where it all began for me. What, sweetheart?
Well, it's been a good day. We just had some dinner, um, had some pasta, sausage, uh, some of that kind of stuff, and it was good. Um, cleaning up and doing some dishes right now. And unfortunately, as I was doing my dishes, I realized an entire bottle of olive oil spilled out into the deck drawer system and got everything. Just got literally everything. And so this was dishes, plus those two little guys. Now everything, everything that was in this drawer needs to be washed. And unfortunately it got some of my rugged tool bags and including my tool roll. So nice and oily. So, hey man, stuff happens, but I'm gonna spend some time cleaning all this up and then my wife and I are gonna spend some time by the campfire, putting the kids to bed. It's been a long day and we're plum tuckered out. We had a great few days out here. Now, I didn't film this whole trip because I wanted to make sure that I spent lots of time with my family. And to be honest, those two little youngsters were a ton of work, but worth every minute of it. Now it's high time that we get some shut-eye. I'll catch you next time. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching and hope to see you out there.